Welcome to the Solar Decathlon Minute. Coming up, we'll find out who's on top today and we'll hear what visitors from last week have to say about their Solar Decathlon 2015 experience. Now, here's event director Richard King. It's day two of jury assessments and to the untrained eye, this village may seem uneventful, but the teams have shifted from educating the public to impressing the juries. In just a few days, we'll find out how well they impress the juries. But for now, let's see how well they impress the public. Really impressed. The, uh, the design is, it was just, it's very surprisingly cool. I, I would say achingly cool, in fact. What I thought was impressive, it's hot right now. It's about 90 degrees. And they don't have air conditioning going on in there, but it's cool, it's relaxing. Um, and the flow of the house was really neat. It's only 900 square feet, but it felt a lot bigger than that. So we were really impressed. Were you impressed? He was impressed too. And that was only the first house the family saw. And he certainly wasn't alone in his enthusiasm for this event. Well, there's so many great, interesting things to see and in and, and many ways to improve, improve the way you're living, you know, both sustainability and, and in other ways. So it's, it's really yeah. terrific. I'd just like to see the latest developments and progress in sustainable architecture, especially since we also have to plan for the little ones, right, for the next generation. I think everyone can enjoy I think it's definitely something that all of us can enjoy. I think design appeals to everyone, whether you focus on it or not. But we wanted to know what people liked specifically. I think the coolest thing I've seen was uh, all the space saving furniture and devices, how you can fit so much stuff in to like such a small area. One of the houses that we saw uh, during tornadoes was other houses that don't have the technology that these do. It's able to pump power out to other houses that have lost energy and I think that's amazing. Actually there was a, a resilience floor where they used incredibly hot water pumped through the floor that would then uh, heat up argon gas, which would then convection heat the flooring, which I thought was uh, very different from any sort of, it, it's reminiscent actually of ice skating rinks where you have Freon pumped underneath or even natural gas pumped underneath. And so they're using that now to heat houses, which is interesting to me. Many people flew in just for this event. This is Dayton, who's Brazilian, but currently lives in Boston. Just very interested about the solar houses and sustainability. And I follow the solar decathlon here in, in America and in, in Europe as well. I want to build a house for myself. Tours of the Solar Village resume on Thursday and the public is invited to the award ceremony where the winner of two contests, market appeal and affordability, will be announced. And now for the day's results. They're the same as yesterday. Missouri S&T leads by less than one point, Stevens holds the second place position, and U at Buffalo is a stronghold in third, at least for today. That's it for today's Solar Decathlon Minute. Tune in tomorrow to learn about the commuting contest and see the solar-charged electric fleet. <laughs>